Swadika. Huh? <laughs> So today we're doing some Thai cooking. Yes, so and what you just heard Kamsala say was an actual Thai greeting. Yes. Um, it means hello and it means goodbye. Swadika. Mm -hmm. So such a beautiful and sweet uh, greeting and very much like um, the Thai people. And uh, we can safely say that um, all of their food is prepared with so much of love and so much of sweetness no, definitely. almost. I mean, Thai, Thailand is, is amazing. It's, it's a, an exotic country. It's a country of total contrasts. Uh, you, get, you get the Buddhist temples and the deeply religious people. Okay, so today we're doing a wonderful Thai green curry. Okay. We're doing a coconut and tomato chutney. Okay. To serve with that Thai green curry. Mm -hmm. And we're doing some duck spring rolls. Duck. Duck spring rolls. Quack, quack. Yes, and okay. of course some beautiful panko prawn. Now the thing you'd notice about uh, Thailand is, is the uh, large variety of ingredients that they use and yes. the wonderful foods that they have. I mean you, you'd expect them just to be like, um, well, what do they normally, rice, rice. and fish, but, but there's a absolutely wide variety. Absolutely. You go there for the, for the, uh, at the hotels with those big um, laid out buffets and you'd find food from all over the world and it's brilliant it really is absolutely bright brilliant. colors yes. wonderful and a lot of steamed and very healthy food as well yes and uh, so when we uh, it's very different from the kind of food that we're used to eating but certainly uh, becoming very very popular because people are tending to want to be healthier uh, and and also you'll notice that the things uh, with people in thailand they're pretty small built. They're very tiny, yes. yes. And, and they go around in these tuk-tuks. And little scooters. Yes, little yes. scooters. And uh, when we were visiting, this little scooter stopped to take us somewhere. And uh, Kamsala got on and the scooter went... <laughs> <laughs> it was a bicycle. That was a bicycle with so a little So, we went seat. to town on the back wheels. <laughs> Yes, the driver was really light. <laughs> All right, thank you for sharing <laughs> no, that, you're um, welcome. that little you're welcome, story. <laughs> All right, so are we ready to get cracking if you are finished? With, yes, uh, yes. there's a few right. more stories. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we're going to start with the Thai green curry. I'm going to get the heat on here. Okay. All right, I'm getting some olive oil into the pan. Chicken breast that I've cut into little cubes. Um, it's basically the bite-sized cubes yep. um, that we just washed breasts and we cut them up into lovely size, size pieces. Yes. Um, very much like what we'd use for butter chicken. Right, sizes. so very so. much lovely chicken breasts. Mm. You could use thighs okay. if you want to, okay. but otherwise it's always convenient um, you know, to have uh, deboned mm -hmm. chicken breasts. Use thighs in Thai. Yes, okay. and then you just get your chicken breasts all ready. We've washed and we've drained and dried this, yeah. patted it dry. And if we run through the ingredients on the side there. All right, so yes. we've got our robo... Um, the robot pe peppers. peppers, all right. Chili. So we've got chili, we've got some red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper. And we have here some lemongrass. All right, two stalks of lemongrass. Mm, wow. Very pungent, yes. hey? Yes, wow. All right, so there we go. With that, we've got a large amount of coriander, we've got some basil, and on this side, we've got some sesame seeds, we've got grated fresh ginger, I have some fish spice, and this is more basil, we've got some curry leaves, we've got... Rocket. Rocket, and of course we've got some uh, whole cloves of garlic, fresh garlic, we've got onion, and here is some coconut cream. Now, coconut cream, you take a coconut, you break it, you take the insides out. Yes, right. Oh, serious? Yes. Okay, I was just messing it up. And of course, if you cream all of the, the <laughs> flesh, you are going to end up with some smooth coconut cream. Oh, okay. But it's so I was just going to say that I made the cream, but then I realized it sounded a bit far-fetched. <laughs> but I so could have. They're easily available in cans. That's going to take you a good hour to do. Okay. So I've got an entire bowl, this is two sliced, well, finely chopped onion, which I'm going to throw into my olive oil. Uh, do I need to trim this chicken anymore? It's all nope, fine. it's so beautifully done. Okay. So while the onions are frying in here, I'm going to put the lid on that, and I am going to make the green curry paste. So it could be, if you can pass us the blender. 
blender. There we go. And all we're going to do is just chuck ingredients in here and we are then going to blend it. Blend it together and we're going to make a little marinade for our chicken. Okay, let's all right. go. Right. So let's start with the chili. Uh, one. Yes. Uh, no, uh, ten of them. Ten? Yes. One, two, three, four, basically all, right? How are we doing there? Ten. Ten. Have you got ten in there? Okay, I'll so just, just put, I'll make it eleven. All right. It's a baby That's chili. very brave. Yeah. You can chop this roughly and put that in there. I've got an entire bowl full of basil, which I'm going to throw in there. This is and really tough, this lemongrass. Yes, curry leaves, and I'm just going to put a little handful. I have got garlic, and if you want to count them out, you can, but this is entirely up to you as well. You can choose to use more or less garlic, but we like lots of garlic. So I'm going to count okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cloves of garlic. And I'd also like there. to tell you that we rode on an elephant. And when Kamsel got... <laughs> the elephant uh, sank. Its back legs went up. Oh, yeah. Why are you taking my joke away? <laughs> All right. So here I have some minced garlic. I'm just going to put a teaspoonful in there. It was fascinating riding those elephants. It was. Right. It's absolutely wow. amazing. Freshly grated uh, ginger. And I am going to put a lovely whole scoop of that in there. We're not done. Oh, got sorry. Some green pepper, kidding. which we have got into little strips. I'm All of put it. that in there. Yes, and thank you. you. And of course, we have got some lovely salt. All right. And just to get our coconut Taste. flavor into everything, we're going to put a little handful mm. of coconut, freshly grated coconut in there. You're going to get the lid on there and we're going to give that quite a lovely little blend. I do think you're going to need some water in there or the vegetables may be a little bit too uh, um, to A cup? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give this a mix. Our onions are being sautéed ever so well. All right, so we've got olive oil happening. Onions being sautéed till they're lovely and soft. All right, I'm going to blend this here. Right. Wow, you get that smell. Mm, That's a lemongrass. Absolutely beautifully. All right, so I'm going to get this opened. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> what was All I right. doing this? So, so, yes. so what was your favorite time in, in, in Thailand? You have to think about it? No. Well, uh, well, we stayed in this really wonderful resort that had its private beach. Oh, yeah, that was brilliant. That was really stunning. So, so that was your best time? Yes. Not the shopping? And the shopping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, in Thailand, they love you to... Bargain. Bargain. Oh. So to buy one shirt, we spend like two hours talk, getting the price down and down and down and down. And, oh. You enjoy that? No. <laughs> I just so enjoy I while you turned... were doing that, I was just walking around looking at all the lovely uh, temples. <laughs> <laughs> we have got, you need to put the lid on that because oh. it's quite spicy. Yes, it is. So I've turned um, half of the jug into here. Mm -hmm as a marinade. So here's our green curry paste just sitting in the chicken. It's called green curry paste, I assume, because it's green, right? Yes. I have a little um, a bit of a paste here. And I have to tell you that I bought this. I was quite excited to see this already done. So there's green chili, there's ginger, there's garlic, and there's fresh turmeric. So turmeric looks like a little bit of a root. And if you grate it down, that this is it. Oh, thank you. No, you're welcome. So I am going to put... I want to be useful. Thank you. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of green chili, a little bit of the garlic. Of course, we have put all of this into our paste, but we just want it to fry a little bit. Not too much of the turmeric. It is a green curry. And there's our garlic. So I've literally put a quarter teaspoon of each of those. 
Now, without it being um, all finely ground up, I'm going to put a teaspoon of that lovely ground, uh, grated rather. You want to give this a mix? Yes, let me just right. get it around you. Wow. Mm, that smells so good. If you want to, you could actually let this curry paste sit and you can get it to... Um, a few hours. Yes, to just infuse for a couple of hours. And that's the amazing thing about chicken. It just absorbs all these flavors so yes. easily. Right, there we go. Wow. All right, so you can put that on high. We've got it on medium heat. And that is Should going I to close start it? to bubble. Oh, no, no. I'm going to put some chicken stock in here. All right, just to nicely season everything. And uh, do they, would they use chicken stock in Thailand? Well, I did say that it's our little take on it. Okay. So I'm just going to scoop up some of the wonderful green herb that's sitting in this liquidizing oh jug. Right. Did I put too much of water? I think you did oh, put a lot of water. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. So when we need to top it up a bit, we're going to do that. So before we close that up, lovely sprinkle of some sea salt flakes. Oh, that looks so good. Yep. So there's our green curry going to sit and bubble there a little bit. And um, last, when it comes to a boil, we're going to add the entire um, cup full of coconut cream. Are you serious? Into, the, into this? Yes. Wow. So that's going to bubble a bit. It looks different from what you know, right? Uh, yeah, in terms of the color, the terms of the smell. Yes. And, and, and the, the amazing thing as well about Thailand is apart from smelling all the, especially in Bangkok, all the mm -hmm. car fumes, <laughs> there's cars all over the place. There's 60 million people. I think there's over three, 350 people per square meter, uh, per square kilometer. Oh my word, I can't yeah. even get my mind around that. But wow. uh, 60 million, it's a small country, that's why 60 yes. million sounds. I mean, we've got 58 million here. So. Wow. And then of course, it's such a wonderful country of contrast as Kubeshian said, because they have the most beautiful temples. Um, they're Buddhist and they um, Islamic people as well. And uh, so hence the uh, food as well is a fusion of both of those tastes. All right, so we're gonna get a, a lid on that. Thanks. And it's gonna bubble up very nicely. And I think in about five minutes, we're going to add the coconut cream. And I'm not gonna dispense of this beautiful paste, curry paste that we've made because we are going to use it with our spring roll, the duck pastries. Before we start with the coconut chutney that kubeshian has got all the ingredients ready for, I have had a little peek at our wonderful green curry and I can see that it's come to bubble so beautifully. So this is my cue to start adding the coconut cream. Are you gonna put all that? Well, I'm gonna put a cup full, all okay, right? That's so there's about a cup, a cup full. full. And of course, you can very much uh, choose wow. to um, add some to the dish that you're it serving. It changes the entire color. Yes, and so, and of course, texture. coconut cream is very good for you. If you want to go low fat, you can actually go coconut milk. And there's also a low fat coconut milk and, uh, as come well. Come on, you're serious? Yep. Yeah. Right, right, so now I'm making the chutney. So I'll get some basil. Right. I'm going to chop that into. Tiny pieces? Yeah, just very roughly. You can even just tear this basil into oh, bits. Okay. And I have a little dish there for Watch you. Watch this you knife is sharp. Don't throw them in. Touch. Right. Point across. Then I'll have to then explain how I cut your finger off. Yes, mm. like the way you let me go in and uh, pick up into the air. With the elephant? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That and yes, of course, we went to this marvelous show in Thailand. The, it, it was, was a Fantasia. Whatever it was, it was basically the from the birth of Thai, Thailand. Yes, How so it was a beautiful Thailand, story. Yeah, so was I, born. Right, had so chickens and goats and chopped in the red peppers. Yep. Right. So we have some coriander, which is the fascinating thing about that show was that no cell phones were allowed. Yes. Into the show, so there were about what a thousand people. At least a thousand. Over a thousand people and. They collected all our cell phones. Every single person put a cell phone into a into a, a plastic bag. Plastic bag, and they put it into a, um, a locker. locker. 
and they gave you a little slip of Number, paper, a, a paper. color with a color. Yes, and you had to keep it. You should have seen people putting those slips of paper away safely so they yeah. don't lose their phones. And then, of course, after the show, there's a thousand people that leave mm. this huge arena, collect their thousand phones. I think it was phones. more than a thousand. Yeah, it was huge. It was, yeah. And then uh, make Cut their this way up as well? yes, to taxis that are taking them back to their hotels. Yeah. So, I mean, it was absolutely amazing that... Nobody uh, lost their cell phones. Nobody loses their <laughs> cell phone. Nobody uh, gets lost. And within half an hour, it all the taxis... Clear. The phones were collected, taxis were, collected, were gone. collected, taxis are loaded, and the entire area is empty. Yeah. It was amazing. And there was one guy who came in with a phone. Yes. And in the middle of the show, he was trying to tape it, and suddenly there's ushers. There's this big spotlight came on, yes. <laughs> onto him. And he had to quietly take his phone, and they confiscated yes. it then. So we have some... Uh, sea salt which we're throwing in there and of course our freshly grated coconut, oh, coconut right. which uh, just gives everything such a beautiful taste so we have one bowl full of uh, I would say like a cup oh and a spoon of this yes so I'm just gonna pour it in you are not gonna do that <laughs> I am just going to help you to scoop some of that thank you you're That's welcome as much as we're gonna get in there it's a very fresh and uh, sort of a um, so what are we doing with Simple this? Simple taste, but it's definitely something that you're going to add to your um, curry when you're eating it with your oh, rice. I you mean, this is noodles. just like something. It's not. A, it's why you call it a chutney then. Well, it's a chutney because okay. it's a mixture of all sorts of wonderful ingredients. Okay. And then, last but not least, you're just going to give a little drizzle of soy sauce and, of course, some balsamic vinegar. All right. Again, this is to your taste, right? Yes. So all right. you say when. Okay. When. Just a dash, I said. <laughs> <laughs> and then shake up the balsamic vinegar. And of course, in Thai cooking, there's tons and tons of lime juice that is uh, used. So um, if you have a taste for Same that. Same amount yes. as that. Go. Thank you. And there we go. A little dash of balsamic vinegar. And that's it. So if you want to as well, just one little... Wow, lovely smell mm. with that vinegar. I know. Do you want to taste it already? All right, so just the tiniest little taste of that. And while the passion is tasting that, I'm just going to get one little grind of pepper in there. How's that? Very sour, fresh, sour. Fresh. Mm. Okay, that's Very the idea. Very coconutty. Very coconutty. So there's our little... Oh, that soy sauce, you put so little, it's really come through though. Yes, because it can, especially if you're not using a low-sodium soy sauce, it is going to flavor it very much. So that's our little uh, coconut chutney all done and ready. Very similar to samples. Yes, it is, but different ingredients, of course. There we go. So we move on to quite a lovely and exciting and elaborate starter dish. <laughs> and this is the- Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be gentle with very it. Very gentle. Okay. <laughs> panko prawns. So what we've done to prepare it is that- We butterfly it. taken off the shell, we've deveined it, and we've butterflied it. If you're wondering what butterfly it is, this would have been the prawn, and you all we've done is we've cut it down the center, but making sure that it doesn't open up entirely. And as you can see, we've left the little tail on, so it makes a, a really little pretty dish yeah. when you are serving. It's it. all about design and what it looks like. Yes, so I think fifty to sixty percent of food depends on what it looks like. Exactly. Mm. So what we're going to do here is we okay. Just let's very quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of crumb it. Yes. So let's quickly look at what's available. We've got uh, panko crumbs. Panko crumbs, the All big right. crumbs. So these are um, wonderful um, and very, very crunchy. So if you're wondering about panko crumbs, they are roasted twice. All right. Oh, okay. I've got ordinary bread crumbs here, mm -hmm. very fine. This is just to double coat it, just to make it more not crunchy. Only plump up the prawn. <laughs> oh, okay. Also make it really, really crunchy. I have two beaten eggs in my bowl. I have some lime juice and I have some rice flour. So for those of you who are wondering about rice flour, it just tends to make everything super crispy. And if you don't have any rice flour, no stress, you use ordinary cake ordinary flour. Feel. But this is a Thai dish and so we're going very Thai. Rice. So we've got the lime juice and we've got rice flour. So this makes it crispy, this makes it crunchy. Yes. 
And, and then, that of course, egg makes it all stick together. Yes. And then uh, we are going to be serving this with a, a sweet chili sauce. Okay. Right. But let's do this sauce. first. So let's do this. So right. what we're going to do is just get a tablespoon of this marinade into our prawns. You can just go with the liquid. It's perfectly fine. Right. I think, I you, think you need to bring chew. it closer. Right. One. Two. There we Buckle go. Buckle my shoe. So we've got two tablespoons of our lovely Thai marinade into our prawns. Just going to oh, ruffle that around. We really had around. lots of prawns when we were in Thailand. Yes. So <laughs> it's, it's definitely um, a seafood paradise. You actually had prawns for breakfast. I had prawns yeah. all the time. Mm. I have got here some fish spice and I am just going to drizzle this generously on my prawn. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, we've got all the other spices in here, so I'm not going to be stressed about whether it's seasoned or not. I'm just going to get some salt flakes in here. All right. Give this a little toss around. So be mindful that you don't take a spoon and get it in here. It'll and break it up. Breaking up yes. everything. So all here right. goes. So we're going to start very gently and just literally okay, dabbing this. Just do that this. slowly so people can see. Into so you go to the rice flour. rice flour first. All right, and once that's done, I'm just going to put it down there. Oh. And then I'm going to do the second one, and rice flour. Okay, do about three. Yes. Just and to I'm get just a sense. Pat that down. There we go. All right, and rice flour. So rice flour first. Do you need this here? Yeah, I'm going to use that for the sweet chili. Okay, that is the let's lime, just go right? so that people can see it clearly. All right, so there we go. All right. We have these beautiful prawns being dipped in rice flour. The I'm other thing... going to make it very crisp. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. You can try it like this if you want to, right? Uh, no? Yeah, but then you would use a tempura powder, oh, okay. um, you know, a mixture, as opposed to um, all this. just this, right? So there we go. The other thing you must never miss if you go to Thailand is to visit the tigers. Oh, yes. And you go into a cage with the tigers. They were, there's a choice between baby tigers, small, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to send that to the large, and I went to the medium. Yes. <laughs> but we actually went into the medium-sized tigers, and, and the medium-sized ones were like, if they stood up on the fence, they were as high as me. So it was amazing being close to those powerful beasts. Yes, wow. Yeah. All right. tiger in, in Winnie the Pooh? Yes, tiger. tiger. Oh, okay. Oh. Tiger is the tiger. Yeah. All right. So now that we've dipped this into the rice flour, we are just very carefully going to dip it into the egg mixture. Notice I'm not allowed to touch because I have to be careful. No, no, no. Oh. You've got a lot there to do. All right. So we're going to then dip it into our breadcrumb mixture. Serious? Yes. Can you take that out of there very gently? Don't break the Put tail. Put more breadcrumbs on yes. top? Yes. So it does help if you want to use flat plates for this. Yeah, I think so. All right. You're so. just trying to be fancy. Right. So that's and done. You uh, just want to leave it here. Okay. And then we do the next one. Just dip into the egg mixture. And could be you're going to dip this into the bread crumbs. Thank you. And so how are we doing there? We're the doing following. good. I'm just thinking of the tigers. You're thinking how just, scared we were. Yeah, and gosh, they were like the most <laughs> majestic yeah. and beautiful creatures. And uh, so large, you know, you don't understand how they look big. But when you're close to them, the their power, paws. The power in, in their bodies. and the, I mean, they could have just swatted us and we would have gone flying. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, we've done the first round of crumbing, which is in the fine little breadcrumbs. Right. Last one. Let me just put this aside. Yes, I want to keep the rest to do when they're really, really piping hot. So what we would do now is okay, get rid of the little crumbs. I'm making a mess. I'm enjoying it. That's okay. This is like playing in, um, in the preschool. In the, yeah. When you play in the sandbox. Right. So we have got them all beautifully crumbed here. And now we're going the second time round. Back into the egg. Back into the egg. Yes. Wow, I just need to wash my hands. And here. I'm going to put that directly into the panko crumbs. So if you look at the panko crumbs, they're much crunchier, they're much bigger than uh, the original um, bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. So okay. can you go with that then? 
Right, very This gently. is bigger. See, this is lovely. Where should I do it? Put it after. Right back here. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh those are beautiful. Do, do, do. Right. They look like those. Um, and you also see how they have plumped up. So it does appear like a larger starter than just ordinary. Small ones. Little ones. <laughs> So what we're going to do now... The, th the thing with this though, people would love it. So... You're going to you have to make quite a bit. <laughs> You're going to make quite a bit of this. Because if you consider making one or two per person coming in for dinner, then you've got problems. But it is a start of... Yeah. It's, it's a uh, lovely little appetizer. And of course, it uh, gives your guests a little bit of a hint as to how good the main is going to be. Well, give them a lot of this and then cook less main. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, there we go. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put that into the fridge just to sit a bit. And we have done some in advance. In a cleaner bowl, right? Yeah. No, you can actually <laughs> stick that in as it is. And it is important that it does settle a bit in the fridge. So if I had guests um, tomorrow, I would start with the prawns today, get them all ready done. You can even go so far as to give it a light little pan fry the day before. And on the, just before you serve it to your guests, you're going to deep fry them. So I've got the oil on and we've got the ones from the fridge, which we're going to be ready to deep fry. So we've got the panko crumbs that have sat literally overnight in the fridge. They're ever so firm. If you had to do them immediately, that's perfectly fine. But I always like to do it the day before. So there we go. They've settled. They're lovely and firm. And I drop that into the hot oil. And I'm just going to turn my heat down a bit. Prawns cook very, very quickly, but you certainly don't want to burn them. Okay. So I would be very cautious and careful and do one at a time. <laughs> so you see how lovely that little prawn tail looks there as well. So that's why we don't remove all of the tail when we are butterflying. Cleaning. Yes. All okay. right. So there we go. That oil is much better. So it's medium heat, I would think. You see how you just relaxed when I mentioned Thai massage? Yes. Yes. The only problem is I think the, 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 the Thai massage in Thailand. Yes. Hmm. I seriously intense. couldn't walk. For a couple of hours after that yes. massage, I was walking like. And they <sighs> literally say, "Do you want <sighs> me to uh, break? Do you want me to break?" And they say, "No, no break. No breaking." But you got your neck cricked, oh. your back. Uh, they use their elbows and the knees. knees and wow. And I think the lady who massaged me was uh, bigger than me. <laughs> so much for saying that the Thai people were really tiny. No, I think she was uh, Indian. Indian. Okay. <laughs> Indian Thai. Indian Thai lady. All right, so there we go. As you can see, the bubbles are starting to stop a little bit. Then you know your prawn is all done, and then you will, you're ready to put in the next one. Let's put in one more. Okay, you want to put another one while the one is yes, in there? Yes, because I'm almost ready to take it's that one out. Off though, right? right, so let's go for it. Wow. Right, so this one's ready to come out. I'm really super happy with these. And Let's they make a... such a wonderful, wonderful starter. Your guests will be ever so pleased with this. And of course, you could even serve the coconut uh, chutney with it if you don't want to just serve it with the sweet chili dip. But nothing beats a lovely sweet chili dip uh, with, with a this, lovely yeah. panko mm -hmm. prawn. Yeah. And uh, the other thing in Thailand is nuts are very big. Oh, they're huge. They love Lots nuts. Of nuts. And you will see that there's so much of peanut uh, used Chutneys in the... Um, and in all of the marinades and also a garnish. So lots of cashew nuts, lots of... Um, oh, we actually went to a... Was it a cashew nut yes, factory? Yes, it was a cashew nut uh, farm. Farm. And uh, it They show you how they get it off the tree and what they do to it. Yes, and, and we also went to a honey farm. Oh, yeah, that's so right. So lots of wonderful honey yeah. as well. So um, uh, I think a great deal of emphasis on natural food. So cashew nuts, honey... And there's some beautiful islands yes. uh, that you can go to on the boat. Oh, Scuba I got diving, seasick. yes. <laughs> right, that's to, to The waves, I think we're so trying good. to get back before the storm hit. All right, so this is a perfect color. This is what we expect it to look like. Okay, it's a bit hot. No, it's hot. Hot. Oh, okay. Mm. 
All right. So I'm going to remove that. Oh, they wow. look lovely. So they're like little prawn lollies almost. Yeah. Right. And then uh, we've got our sweet chili business going to happen now. And that is our panko prawn, which we're going to serve with the sweet chili sauce. Right. So the best thing way of eating this is with the sweet chili sauce. Right. So I'm which you can make. You can make. Oh, you can do what we did. We just. Bought it. You can just buy it. Why do you want to reinvent the wheel? Yes. That's the perfect recipe. So we're going to use what we've bought, but I just want to show you how to spruce it up a little bit. We're going to put two teaspoons of lime juice in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, everywhere that you go in Thailand, you will see bottles of the sriracha sauce. Oh my word, that's, that's extra hot. Yes, it is. Right, let's put that away. And then of course, we have some lovely sweet chili and I'm going to top up the bowl and we give this a little bit of a mix okay so although we bought it we made our own little yes all right we've added some heat some lime juice and that's going to be absolutely oh. yummy that's it and that's our sweet chili Woo! prawn Taste this? I'm going to eat it with the prawn. Okay. I'm going to eat it on my own. I should have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Thank there you. we go. Sweet chili all done. We move on to our duck spring rolls. Uh, you will, will find that <laughs> duck... It sounds weird. Duck spring rolls. Duck spring roll. And Duck you, spring roll. You, will, <laughs> you get a lot of duck uh, in Thailand. Yes. And uh, in, in Thai food as well. We so, actually didn't see this in Thailand. We saw this in Hong Kong. Yes. Where they were delivering duck. Oh, yes. On their bicycle, hanging from the handle of the bicycle, remember? Yes. And it was weirdly cut. It was cut from, it was cut this way. From half. the head to so the... So half a beak, half, half a beak, beak half, yeah, half a head. Half a beak, yeah. On the bicycles, taking them to five-star hotels. Yes, absolutely. Oh. And of course, uh, one of the... Um, um, often enough, you'll get roast duck. Yes. And little slivers of it. So yeah. what we've done, is we've gone ahead and we've roasted the duck. And all that we've done is cut them into beautiful little pieces. We've like taken so. the white meat. We've taken, well, it's duck breast, yeah. and there you go. So there's our duck all ready to be slivered, to be put into our rolls. Okay. I have here some spring rolls um, pastry. pastry, and I'm covering it with a tea towel that's damp. So this is damp, and I'm just going to dispense with this. So this is half a cup of flour. Tell them what that is. Cake flour, because it's going to seal up the ends. And I'm going to put some water just to make a little paste. And can you give that a little mix, please? I'll give you a spoon. Okay, so this is basically put at the ends of the pastry so that it sticks and doesn't yes, and come so, loose. Yes, when we roll up the spring roll. We did this when we the did glue. the samosas, as yes. well, right? Yep. So basically, it's just ordinary flour and water to make create a paste, which you are going to... And if you're in an Indian home, it's one of the first things you learn as a kid, how to make this paste. Yes. Mm, to stick your notes in your notebook. <laughs> <laughs> really? Don't love you used to use this. I did not use paste. Oh, no, you did, she didn't use paste. She used uh, rice. Rice. Cooked rice. Cooked rice. To stick your notes in. Oh, because it's all soft and gooey. <laughs> yeah. The gluten in the rice will stick your yeah, worksheets. Yeah, there we go. Right, I think that needs a little Kids more Kids, don't water. try that. I'm joking, eh? No, it's serious. <laughs> you can do it now that you're locked down and you're home. You can do whatever you like. Mm. All right, so lovely, good mix. So there's our paste. There's all the gluten that's released, and that will certainly bind our pastry and prevent it from opening up in the oil and uh, getting rid of all our stunning filling. Right, so we'll leave this... So that's Aside, out of the way. It's going to probably get dry, but we can really put some more water. So I've got some yellow peppers and I've got some red peppers. I'm going to get the stove on and I'm just going to give this a lovely um, toss in the... Oh, I also need some onions. I've got onion on the side. Yes, I'll get your onion for you. All right. So I'm going to put this on, turn on the heat. I'm going to add some olive oil. One cup coming up. There we go. And just drop that in there. Watch for the splutter. That's okay. why you want me to do it. Yes. Because it'll splutter on me. Okay, everybody beware. Right. Oh, oh that's that beautiful. Bad. And I am going to put in my red peppers. 
slivered. Oops, there's a chili that wants to get no, in no, there. No, no, no. That was a trick. <laughs> was that a trick? Mm. And there's the yellow peppers. Just going to mix this down. Let it cook, soften, become lovely and translucent. And while this is cooking, I have saved some of the lovely chicken stock. I'll put that into my onion so that it's going to cook down. Also going to flavor this absolutely beautifully. You're going to give me some coriander. A handful? Yes. Cut up or? Ch uh, roughly chopped. But you're also going to pass me the lovely mixture that we got in the liquidizing jug. Right, so you see our peppers being done so beautifully here. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. And some of the green paste from our curry paste. Thank you. <laughs> right, green so we've got some paste. coriander in there. We've got peppers. We've got onion. We've this got the chicken stock. green paste is going into everything. It is. Right, you're going to put about a quarter cup of it. That is wonderful. Thank you. So there we go, some green curry paste into our filling. And now, sir, yes, you can sliver the duck uh, breasts into thin, long pieces. And as they're ready, you can give them to me. They're going to soften and flavor. Thin, long pieces. Yes. And while that is happening, I'm just going to get some salt in Ooh, here. It's going against the grain. And I'm going to get some pepper. One grind of pepper, and as you Ooh. get the duck ready, you can just chuck them in here. Do you want to stir fry this, and I can help you with that? Am I taking too long? No, you're not. This is irritating doing a you job. with the length of time that I'm taking. No. Right. So there we go. Should if I, I move put this, this in now? Out of the way. Should I put and this in? Yes. So all we're doing is just slicing this down into thin, long slivers. We've got the duck breast that's roasted. And that lovely onion mixture, the peppers, and that green Thai paste is going to certainly flavor this breast. So it's certainly not going to be flavorless. All right, I there didn't we see go. I it was going to be flavorless. Why did I get a look? You didn't. Oh. So there we go. That is beautiful. Thank you. Should I take it off the heat? You may. Or just put it off? You can take it off the heat. Put it off. Done. Done. And I have a container here for you to just throw this in there. But you're going to use this to hold the pot. And I'll help you with that. Okay, ready. Right, ready. Just throw this in here. So those um, ingredients have just dried a bit. They are nicely sautéed. Thank you, that'll do. Some of the onions. That's okay, thank you. All right, so there we go. We've got this lovely little mixture here, which is softening. It's absorbed all of the beautiful flavor. I'm assured of the fact that all of that flavor has been absorbed by our beautiful duck breast. So we are going to now start with our pastry. So of course we've got the duck breasts all slivered or beautifully braised with that lovely uh, green Thai curry paste. I think paste. some of my slivers were a bit big. No, they're beautiful. I think it's lovely to have a mouthful of the beautiful duck breasts. It's fine. And then um, I'm going to start now with the um, beautiful spring pastries. Spring okay. roll pastries. We didn't make this. Mm -hmm. It can be made, but it's it's a long, laborious process. Because it has to be super thin. Yes. All right. And it's so. rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled, and then it's cut. And, oh. There you go. So you've got to be very uh, carefully uh, mindful when you're teasing these apart. Na, 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 yeah, na. I just knew you were going to do that. <laughs> and then, um, as you can see, this looks super thin, but there's but two there's of them. Two there. So I'm going to just pull get that my apart hands as well. in here and I'm going to start to separate it. Don't be uh, overly stressed if, if you breaks, sort of uh, break fine. the yeah. uh, corners because those are fine. You can just trim them, mm. but you don't want to make a hole in the middle of it. So once you get started like this, you want to just very easily and gently tease it apart. 
All right, so there we go. Almost done. Yes, I'm tired of waiting. You can try that one. Nope. All right, so we've got two. And what I'm going to do is just cover this again. It is very imperative keep that you keep damp. them covered mm. with a damp tea towel because you do not want this to get all hard and dry. So there we go. We've got our beautiful pastry here. And I need that. Okay, I'm just trying to get out of the oh, way. Right. So. so there we go. I'm just going to get some in the middle here. Lovely big piece of the meat Chickens. as well. All right, so there we go. Nice Spot and thin spoon. in the middle. You want to do that one? You want me to look like a moku, right? No, not at all. Mm. You just follow exactly what I'm doing. Okay, well. All right, so there we go. We're just going to make a nice long line of it. Thin long line. Okay. Right, that's about wonderful. Okay, so we'll start from hey, one you, side. You turned it around. No, it's a square. It actually doesn't matter. No, no. All right, no. so I'm going to turn this down so that we've got a little fold. I'm going to turn this down so that we have a little fold. We're going to turn it up so that we have a little <laughs> fold. <laughs> there we go. All right. So do you see all that we're doing is we're making a little parcel. Oh, all right. So it's we like, turn um, this over. Wrapping a, a gift. Yes. And then you've got a lovely little fold there, Kabi. I know, I know. I'm and then we just oh. tightly roll, roll. And before we get to the end, we've oh. got our glue. There We're we go. We're just going to get some of the glue on to the edge here. You can use your finger, it's you easier. May. And then we just roll it over and just let it sit on the, on the glue so that it sort of cements a little bit and dries on there. There's our spring rolls all done and ready to be fried. Right. So I just wanted to show you that if we wanted to go traditionally Thai, um, you could use some rice paper to make your spring rolls. So I've got some hot water here in a large basin and it, I've just got the kettle boiling so if you can just top it up a little bit so we've got nice and hot water. Okay. We've got the oil heating up here. And uh, if you look at the rice paper, you can fill it, it's absolutely beautiful and thin. Is that enough? Yes. All More? right. That's okay. Thank you. So what are you going to do? So all I'm going to do is just soften the rice paper in the hot water. So what happens is just becomes soft and pliable and then you sort of use it as a cone to fill in a salad or um, the mixture that we have you had here. You don't have to fry this And you anything? don't have to fry it. Oh, so I'm just okay. going to throw that in there. What's the water's like that, hot? And I'm going to turn it over and there you go. It's just going to soak for a minute and when we pull it out it's going to be entirely pliable. We can then use it to fill in the salad or the chicken breast, the Duck bread, so you, the okay, so you just prawn, eat it like that then? You eat it as it is. Okay. So there we go. That should be about so it's ready. it's made from rice? It's made from rice. Oh. And it's actually very good for you. It's a healthier alternative to the spring roll because you don't have to fry that or anything. Wow. So this All looks right. like it's ready. Is that ready? Yes, right. absolutely. So there you go. It becomes quite lovely My and word. pliable. There you go. Super thin. I'm just going to pick that up and there is our rice paper all beautifully done and we will then shape this into whatever shape you want to and fill it and this is ready to eat as it is and of course it is you can try it <laughs> no, it is um, a super wonderful and very gourmet kind of uh, okay. additive where you can wrap your salad into it or you could wrap some whatever prawn you need to or eat chicken it. or whatever so okay, alternative so it's pretty, and it's, it's, yeah. it's stretchy as well and then if you wanted to just put your chicken breasts in there and they're all ready to go so we move all over to the oil all right oh nice and i'm going to put that in let's do two at a time okay you're going for it slowly right well done got two forks here and you will see that the spring roll pastry cooks very, very swiftly. And it also can burn very easily as well. So you just want to make sure that it moves around. If the oil is a bit much, you can put a third one as well. Slowly. Gently. Yeah. This is the one you made. Yes. Looking quite perfect. All right. So there we go. 
Uh, you will see as well that that paste that we made is ensuring that all of your filling stays where it needs to be. It shouldn't be bursting open like this one that Kabeshin made. <laughs> all right, so there we go. Very nice and beautiful. So that's being done absolutely beautifully. We're going to wait for that to become golden brown and they're all ready to eat then. Okay. All right, so of course, your spring rolls as well. We can borrow some of the beautiful um, sweet chili that we were serving um, the prawn with. And that so this make is a, also a starter, right? It is a starter, mm. yes. It's a lovely starter. It's a, quite a filling starter. It could be a light meal as well. It could be a light meal, yeah. but I think you would serve more than one if it were a light meal. Two and, or three uh, in a plate with yes. whatever salad. And then so. also, uh, if you were looking uh, to be healthier, if you didn't want to deep fry it, you could actually then put it into your steamer. Of course, it's the effect is not the same. The pastry is not firm. It is a uh, lump like the salad roll. And um, it is, you know, uh, quite tasty though. The taste is the same, but of course, you're going to miss all the beautiful crunch. Okay, let's get down to tasting all this lovely, delicious food that we've prepared. Our little Thai feast. And just to Thai recap, food. we've got our uh, panko prawn with a... Um, Sweet chili sauce. Okay. We've got the duck spring rolls. There we We've go. We've got the coconut and tomato chutney. We've got duck in the rice, rice paper. Rice paper. Yes. And of course, our beautiful and green Thai curry. All right. Now, two things that we didn't cook on the show were the rice and the noodles, right? Yes. Okay. So they're pretty simple to do. Yes. So that was just um, ideally, you should be using some jasmine rice. It's got such a beautiful fragrance and you would literally cover it in a pot uh, with hot water, a little bit of salt, cover it and then it will just double in size and of course all the water will be absorbed. You <laughs> can, if there's excess <laughs> water. Sounds like me in the lockdown, just doubled in size. You did. <laughs> And then we have some rice noodles as well. So green Thai curry is best served with either jasmine rice or with noodles or whatever kind of rice that you want to. Some lovely brown wild rice would also be beautiful. Okay, so, so are what are we starting with? Let's start with this prawn. It's just okay, looking like I've it's I've already my... had my lovely prawn. And how was it? It was wonderful. All right, so I'm going to go for it. There you go. And um, you, you want a teaspoon with it? I'm just going to... Oh, okay. Just drop some of that on um, there. Do I need to have the sauce? You I already do. tasted the sauce. Yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How's the chili? It was brilliant. You see, when you're eating it together... Mm, you can still taste the chili. Can you? Yes. The flavors <laughs> all complement each other. They do actually. So the prawn. It really gives it a lovely burn. Double crumbed. Yep. Beautiful fleshy. Yes. Mm. Very nice. This is just so good. Uh -huh. I think you can have this as a meal. Just sit there and eat mm. 10 or 11 prawn. of them. <laughs> 10 or 11 of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. That is divine. Mm. All right, now let's get down to that beautiful spring roll. Yes. So, so there's our duck spring roll. You want to share this? Or you yes, I do I want to share that. Better. All right. And we use so the same... Um, the pastry is lovely and crisp. Yep, and we use the same... Um, sauce. Sauce. All right, so I have some sauce in here. Beautiful filling. Mmm. Mm. You can hear the crunch. Mm. Mm. I love the taste. What is that? I'll tell the you just duck, now. Onion, pepper. The pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pepper I would think that you would fish. taste the duck in a duck spring roll, not the, the pepper. The duck's there, but I mean, all the, the flavors meld together very mm. nicely. Nothing is overpowering. Mm. It's really, really good. Wow. That is brilliant. So can we go with the coconut and okay, tomato? So hang on, I'm still eating. Sorry. You're eating up my prawn. <laughs> I was saving that. For where? For the end. Okay. <laughs> so of course we have 
Our Thai green curry here. Oh, this chutney. We've got the rice and <laughs> we've got, I'm going to put the <laughs> chopsticks away, but you should be trying them with these. Okay. And uh, noodles, what do you want? Some rice or noodles? Um, rice would be good. Okay, so here we go. Some rice for you and some rice for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a spoon for the Thai curry. Okay. And do you want some of this lovely yes, chutney please. that I made? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm just... can't wait Next to get to started rice. with that. And so there we go. I've just garnished with some nuts and with some... Uh, coconut, fresh coconut. So tell me if you want more of the no, I want sauce. A piece you of want the a chicken. big piece of chicken. There we go. Right. Wow. And let's see what this. Oh, the chicken's just really um, soft and tender. Right. So. So I, I was always fascinated, and I was even fascinated in Thailand how they'd eat something like this with the chopsticks. Hmm. With. The, Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It's so fragrant mm -hmm. and flavorful. And it's got the bite there. A little bit of a bite, but not overpowering taste. Mm -hmm. Absolutely lovely. Mm. I'm tasting the coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And all of that beautiful green spice. Mm. That was wonderful. And you also feel like it's a wholesome meal. Mm -hmm. mm. Well done, Mrs. Cook. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well done to you, sir. <laughs> there mm. we go. I didn't get to taste the chutney. Oh, sorry. I'm very sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So then, of course, the coconut. It has a lovely crunch there. Mm. And it's got a bit of a bite as well. That is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. That's the one I made. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, was our wonderful tour through Thailand. Mm. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope you're going to enjoy making all this lovely Thai food. And uh, just go for it. And after you've eaten the lovely Thai food, you give your missus a Thai massage. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. <laughs> I could see you. I could see you in the reflection. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so that's our lovely time with, in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So if you need to say anything and send us lovely messages, please do so on uh, Facebook on Love at First Bite or on Instagram Love at First Bite SA. And of course, I'm just chewing all the I know, you're still <laughs> eating, yeah. So of course, remember all of our food is up on YouTube and there's step-by-step -step videos for you to follow, pause, get it right. And have and, fun with it. And have fun with Just it. Just have lots and lots of fun in the so kitchen. So if you've missed the recipes there on YouTube, Love at First Bite, and YouTube on videos mm -hmm. and on Facebook. So please follow us. And also please remember your social distancing. Remember to wash your hands, wash your hands, stay wash safe. your hands. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yes. And if you, have, if you don't need to leave home, please stay home. It's winter, it's warm, it's snug. And you've got all these beautiful ideas to make some beautiful food at home. See you next week. Bye-bye.